Hey guys, I want to do a follow up on the um, uh, KZ ZST. And I, the reason I want to do a follow up is I spent a lot more time listening to it. Um, these are, if you saw the last video, the can it be that good for $20 IEMs? And, and yeah, they, they are totally worth $20. Um, you may notice I have a, a balanced cable on here. And one of the things I found is the cable that it came with it was just horrible. Um, it just kept falling out. It just it was just a terrible cable. So I put this balanced cable that I had in, which has... Um, pull this apart here. I don't know if, how well you can see that, but those are... I don't know if that's focusing good or not, but those are much longer pins than <clears throat> what came with it, and they really bit in there well, so it, it stayed in there. So, so that's the first thing. If you get these, you need to you need to swap that cable out more than likely. The cable that comes with it, the pins are really short, and they it just kept falling out every time I took it out of my ear. The cable popped out. That said, I did a bunch of listening with this. And some other IAMs, and and I'll I'll tell you the one of the IAMs I can I tested against is one that I recently got in is this. Uh, um, let me reach over here and get the, uh, the box. Is the um, the TRN uh, V90, and this is the other one which I'm going to do a separate video on. So I kind of was comparing it to this. This one's $18.99. This one's 50 bucks. So, but they still fall in that same kind of category of, you know, less than $100 IEM. And to be more fair, I compared it and did a bunch of listening against the blonde. And, and I know everyone's probably sick of the blonde by now. <laughs> sick about hearing about the blonde. You know, okay, get over it. Get on to something else. We know the blonde's good. But I feel like it's a fair comparison, right? Um, I feel like the blonde was an the blonde three was an anomaly, not the five, but the three. I, I have the five coming any day, and I'll be doing a review on that as well. Um, but this 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 one right here, here's what I found um, in the more um, detailed listening that I did. What I found was the base needed to be toned down on these. The base was too much. But the bass was really good. I, if I dropped it down a couple of notches on the equalizer, um, which I posted a uh, um, the settings that I used, the bass was was perfect. The bass was really good. The detail on these is excellent. I mean, all the songs that I test for detail, <clears throat> um, that one song from that album, Truth About Charlie, I think it's called Dikara Dikara. Um, uh, John Coltrane, um, uh, Love Supreme, and uh, Metallica, um, Rodrigo and Gabriela, just so many songs that I use and for, for detail. Uh, Diana Krall is one I use too. She has a lot of really good recordings with a lot of detail. Um, and the detail is fantastic. It's, it's actually so good. It's, the detail retrieval is just as good as almost any IEM I have. Um, I would say the fearless has better detail retrieval and, and whatnot, but this is incredibly good for, for $18 and 99 cents. Now that said, the treble's there, bass is there. You can have to tone down a little mids are okay. Not great, but they're okay. They're there. They're not like falling in the background. Um, the stage is very good. The stage on these is better than the blonde by a reasonable amount. I mean, you definitely hear the difference. I have the Diana Krall song. Uh, I think it's All That You Know or All For You. Yeah, All For You. And the stage, and I kept plugging one out, putting them in, I mean, putting the IEM in, plugging it in, you know, that whole thing, switching back and forth, back and forth, re restarting the song. And the stage was, was very noticeable each time I went to it. The stage in these is wider, and, and I think the imaging is almost as good um here's here's the thing about that though the timber on these is off and by timber my my definition of timber is the realism of the way something sounds in other words when you hear 
a snare being hit, you know it's a snare being hit. It sounds like it. You feel like it's kind of three-dimensional, like it's there for real. When it's when it's that good, when it's three-dimensional and you feel like you're sitting in front of it, that's when the timber is just spot on. The timber is not on on these. And I, I felt like it sounded kind of like like listening to it in the car maybe or something. I, I, I don't know what a good analogy would be, but it just didn't sound realistic to me. Like, I, I mean, I know what it was, the instrument, but it didn't have that 3D effect. And I didn't find that kind of excitement where I hear a song and I just want to keep listening to it because it just sounds so good to me. I didn't really get that with these. But I, I don't want to shoot them down because for $18.99, which is what they cost on Amazon, the detail retrieval, the bass, the mids are there. The timber's a little off. The very good stage. I mean, these are absolutely worth every penny and more. Um, they don't beat the blondes. But just by a small amount. The blondes are better, but not that much better. So, again, for $18.99, you really can't go wrong with these. You're going to need to swap the cable, for sure. Or you're going to have to glue the cable it comes within. But... I think it's a good deal. I, I just wanted to go over that because I did a lot more listening with them and I wanted you guys to know more about um, what I liked about it and what I found. So I, I would say these are not as good as the Blonde. I'm going to say they're better than the TRN V90 though, which is 50 bucks. So not better than the Blonde, but better than the TRN V90. That's what I'm going to call on these. All right. Anyway, I hope this helps you.